Now in part D, we're asked to find the deceleration of the girl in the final 20 seconds. So that's going to be represented by this part of the graph here. Now we should know that acceleration is given by the gradient of your line here on a speed time graph. But we've got to be very careful with something like this because, okay, we might find the acceleration, but we're looking for deceleration. Well, okay, first of all then, we'll start with the acceleration. The acceleration is going to be equal to the change in velocity over the time taken. That's the final velocity, which will be this velocity at this point here, which was v. V we found out as being 4, so it'll be 4 minus the initial velocity at this point here, which was 5, divided by the time taken, and the time taken was 20 seconds. So if you work this out, you're going to have minus 1 20th, minus 1 20th meter per second per second. So that's the acceleration, and you'll notice it's negative. But when it comes to deceleration, we've got to just take out the minus. We're interested in the positive value of this, the magnitude. So therefore, we just say that the deceleration, let's just mark it in, deceleration equals 1 20th then of a meter per second per second. So you just got to take care then over that part here. Make sure that your acceleration is negative. We'd expect negative because it's decelerating. But that actual deceleration then is the positive value. Okay?